Hello and welcome to more Spyro Reignited Trilogy. We are still here in the first world of the game and a couple episodes ago I said I'm going to start doing longer episodes until the end of the series and then last episode was just a completely average length one so that was a bit strange but today guys we're going to go and knock out everything there is left to do inside of the first world here. Kind of. There was that one side area inside Molten Crater where we have to have uh, Sergeant Bird, aka King Dedede, unlocked. So I don't think we can un unlock him until the next world anyways. So we'll do everything except for that at the very least. So now I gotta figure out where the heck are we going? Probably over this way. So we've gotta use 14 eggs to get inside. We should be able Yay! to do that. My portal is working. I'll see you at the beach. Okay, Snappy the Seal. Let's go snap into action and get inside. And you know, it's been a while since we've had a good time to warm some hands. So you know what, guys? Let's get those hands warm, dude. I'm not even going to edit. We're just going to embrace the lag, embrace these long loading screens. Get those hands nice and toasty. Uh, guys, careful. You're going to get burned. Swap hands. Swap hands. That one hand is getting too toasty. We should be fine. But you guys can probably see why I normally edit out these uh, loading screens. Because they can last a little while. They can last a little while, dude. Man, how much fire do you have inside there, Spyro? There we go. Finally, the load is over. Let's get inside and... Whoa, instantly start underwater. Let's go talk to this dude. While I was gone, my friends borrowed the Rhinox submarine. Then they took it for a joyride. And then they smashed it into a big pile of rocks. Oddly enough, the Rhinox failed to see the humor in their actions and stuffed my friends in the jail cell behind you. Oh, wow. All right. That, wow. Okay, then let's just move on and get treasure. Yeah, ignore that guy's problems. We just got to get ourselves some treasures instead. Looks like we can knock out the octopi by smashing our head into them. I don't know, like, what is the mechanics? Like, how are we propelling forward? Is it really just from our ta tail swirling underwater? Is our tail swirling like that really enough to propel us forward that quickly? I don't know how you do the things you do, Spyro. But we will go ahead and knock open that thing. Got another enemy on this side who has a blasty gun. That's not good. I like how Sparks is inside a little bubble. It's so cute, dude. I love Sparks. Man, it's kind of hard to control while you're underwater, so getting all this treasure is going to be a bit of a doozy. But hey, we got this at least. Let's go smash this dude. Get as much stuff as we can here. Ah, we can go up this tunnel and get ourselves a one-up, it looks like. I just got to figure out how to open it. I don't know how Sparks is going to manage to eat that butterfly without breaking out of his bubble, but he managed somehow. Let's go get this little duck, which I guess was actually a critter. I thought that was going to be an enemy. It was pretty large, but let's go talk to Zoe. If you want a quick summary of your progress in a world, you can press the guidebook button to open the guidebook page for the world you're in. Zoe, how dare you tell me things I already know? All right, let's get out of here. Got these giant pineapple things right here, as well as these uh, hermit crab dudes. Smash them open. I guess we got all the goodies. Let's go grab some stuff on this side. And you know, I probably missed some stuff back there, but I'm not going to worry about it too much. But I am going to worry about checking out our totals here. So we do have six dragon eggs to get, 400 treasure, and we also have to get. Uh, was this seashell shore? Catch the funky chicken. I think, yeah. So we have to catch the funky chicken to get a skill point as well. Wow. Oh, I tried to jump over it, but we just kind of smashed into it, and it totally worked. This, this guy will just go ahead and flame. So yeah, hopefully we'll be able to find that funky chicken, and then we'll catch him. No problem. No problem, Spyro. So we can probably smash this open. Wow, we got so many different split paths. I feel like I'm going all over the place, man. Let's go knock these guys out if I can. And you know what? Let's go up top. Ow! That was a bad time to exit, wasn't it? But let's go up top first and try to get all these guys knocked out. Let's see if we can find any chicken. Looks like we're not going to find any chicken. Oh, well. Let's go back inside. Considering we have six stinking chickens to get, I'm kind of surprised we've... Not chickens. Six dragon eggs to get. I'm kind of surprised that we haven't gotten a single one yet. I mean, of course, one will be from the end where we have to, uh... One will be from the end where we have to, like, finish the stage or whatever, but the rest of them, I don't know where they're going to be. I mean, I don't know where the end of the stage one is going to be either, but I'm sure we'll just randomly stumble upon it. Ow, how dare you? So blast that guy. And I could probably go inside the water here, but I could also not go in the water. You know, we'll go in the water first, and we'll go the other path a little bit later. These guys are really hard to hit. Ew, 
Uh, uh, Spyro, get him, dude. There you go, buddy. Let's go through here and smash all kinds of stuff. And that looks like a duck, so we might be able to get a extra bit of health from that, but I kind of missed. Oh my gosh, another tunnel? Another one? Well, I'm lost. I always get a little bit disoriented when we're inside these areas. Let me see if there's any treasure on top of these things. Uh, not really, but there is some stuff along the bottom here. Yeah, we're almost certainly going to have to come back and use Sparks to help us find this treasure at some point. I mean, we could be consulting Sparks as we go, but I feel like it's just going to make things too slow if I'm sitting here calling up Sparks every two seconds from every single room, you know? Oh, there's a side room over there, too. Let me see if I can actually get this guy. Oh! Well, that was the skill point. I was just trying to get some health, but I guess that was it, man. So we've got this room, but I want to go to the side area first, just to see if we can get ourselves a dragon egg over here. So in we go! I used to have a dragon egg for you, but instead I used it to test our ultra-high-speed superfluidity tunnel. The good news is that it made it to the end of the tunnel without a scratch. The bad news is that there's no way to get it back out now. Oh, Sandy. That's not this good, Sandy. It's full of Rhinox and floating mines. The only way to retrieve that egg is to defeat every single Rhinox in the tunnel. Every single one? Aw, oh, jeez, Sandy. All right, Sandy. We'll do that for you, Sandy. So we can't go back out that way. I mean, we could, but probably not a good idea. So let's go on through and let's not miss a single dude. We're not going to hit any of these mines. Nope, not any of the mines. We're just going to hit the dudes. That guy's really close to a mine. Okay, so far we're not doing bad. Oh gosh, did you guys hear that Spyro Tokyo drift? Let's try again here. Let's get back inside. Oh, for a second there, the whole time I was in there, I was holding down the charge button. Turns out you don't have to hold it down because the game does it for you. Okay, let's try again here and not die. Not die. Oh, that was so close. There's one more right there. Is that all of them? Nope, not yet. There's so many this guy please end soon please end oh that was the last one. Oh, come on we can do this spyro we can do this spyro just don't miss yes we got it so that should get us the dragon egg good fluid dynamic characteristics from now on all of our submarines will be egg shaped all right if you want it to be egg shaped that's fine we got duke right here Oh, don't. Oh, he just did the underwater sneeze. He kind of buried himself in that sand. That's dangerous, dude. So I think that is all we have inside here. So we're going to get back out and we'll keep exploring. And you know what? I will consult Sparks a little bit. And he is pointing that way, which makes me think maybe we didn't actually miss anything in this room. Let's go on through and see what we got going on on this side. My plan worked. That dumb octopus dropped the jail key while he was shaking me. Now I can free my friends. Oh, dang. What up, Stanley? So that will open up that door right there. So we can hopefully go through ourselves. I forgot to tell you, one of the Rhinox had this egg in his lunchbox. Aha! So there we got our second egg. That's going to be dizzy. Still four more to go, which is a lot. But now that we've dealt with the skill point already in this stage, a while ago we got that chicken. It makes me feel a lot more comfortable. It's usually the skill points that I'm most worried about. Because they are usually the hardest thing to get. But we got that one done. Now we'll just keep on looking around until we figure out what to do next. So let's consult Sparks. And he's pointing this way. I guess we have to go defeat this guy. It makes sense. Ooh, got him. I think there was another guy up top as well. So let's go see if we can get him. Sparks? What is this? That's nothing, Sparks. Why would you direct me there? Aha, directing me to this guy. Got him! And now he's pointing through the wall, so I think we have to go back to the other side. Maybe I did miss something in that room. Right up here, we've got some goodies. Yeah, I just went up from the uh, the room that had the secret area connected to it that we just came out of, where we, you know, did all the crud in there. I just went up, and now there's another secret area. All right, let's go inside. Bruno the Rhinox has challenged us to a naval battle. Our speedboat versus his nuclear shark submarine. If we win, we'll get the dragon egg he's guarding. If we lose, we'll have to spend a month doing kitchen patrol. Not kitchen patrol. I'll do my best to smelt the seal. Let me sit. Do you want to take on Bluto? Yes. Yes, I do. yee -haw. What? That's not yee -haw. It's yee -haw. Okay. yee -haw. Just remember, Let's go with that one. Stay away from the sharp end. Away from the sharp end. Got it. Press B button to speed up. A button to fire a missile. Pick up crates to get more missiles. 
Let's go, Spyro. Whoa, whoa. Oh my gosh. This is uh, very interesting. Oh, that's going to defeat the guys, but we can't pick up the treasure probably until a little bit later. We'll have to go back through and try to get some of that stuff. All right, in we go. Let's just defeat this shark one missile at a time. Uh, am I out of missiles? Do I, do I have to go get the crates? Yeah, yeah. the bottom right, I can see there's a zero there. My microphone stand kind of blocks the bottom right of my screen, so I did not see that at first. But it looks like we are good to go. Hit that guy a few times. Take a little bit of damage right there. So it looks like the vehicle itself does not have any normal HP. It's just the same as uh, normal, where we have sparks. Go blast that guy a few times. So I guess he also has to pick up missiles, it looks like. Oh, I can't get away. Yeah, that was not going to happen. And this is reminding me of, like, the Ripto boss fight from the last game. Although we are almost dead now. Oh, crud, dude. I can't go. I can't go. Can I pick up more than three? Oh, I can. I can just pick up a whole bunch of missiles. Oh, it's super weird because we have to press up to go straight. Even if we're, like, facing the different way. So when I'm facing towards the screen, I still have to press it up to go straight. It's very confusing, but we got it done. That's the first time Pluto has ever lost. You dragons must have a ton of talent. I hope this egg was worth all the trouble. Heck yeah, thank you very much, Svelte. We got Jackie. So I think we're halfway done with the dragon egg for this stage. Let's go take a look real quick. Uh, yeah, we're halfway done. More than halfway done with treasure as well. So I am going to go through this little area and pick up all the goodies that we found. Right here, we just have a couple of smaller gems, but I think on the other side, we had some more stuff as well. Whoa, and I guess underwater. I might need to go back on the little tunnel leading here and check underwater as well. This one over here, that might be it for underwater. No, right in the middle. Right in the middle, we've got that five. I think we're good now. Run around the edge. Anything behind here? No, no, no. Oh, I forgot. Sparks is dead, so we can't use him to pick up treasure. We'll have to do this ourselves the hard way, Spyro. Go through and grab those ones. Oh, there's more on that side as well. So let's grab these, and I think we're okay to leave now. But I will check this little tunnel here, like I was saying. So we'll go down. Wow, I immediately found some goodies. I can't ask Sparks if we missed anything, man. Hopefully I can find some way to get another butterfly here. Got a few more on this side. Lots and lots of small gems. I thought it was just going to be a Sheila thing. I thought only Sheila would get tons of small gems, but yeah, this stage is having quite a few small ones as well. So I'm really hoping we didn't miss anything. Chances are we probably missed something, but I don't have sparks to confirm. So we're just going to go back out of here and hopefully not have to go back to this room. Are there any critters around here? I don't see any, so we're just going to have to go inside. And I will hopefully get this critter, but I'll meet you guys when we find some more treasure here. Aha, right across here. Let's go across. Got lots of enemies to get bonked by. That guy knocked me out of the air. That was kind of evil. So how do we get across it without taking damage? That's my question. What if we go over here? My goodness. My goodness, they are trying. Well, we got him. We'll knock him out. Over this way, we got another Sheila section. All right. I mean, Sheila is super fun to play as, man. Her kick ability is just so strong. And not to mention, of course, her jumps. But I guess it's kind of a kangaroo thing, right? They jump, they kick. Uh, more treasure down there. But I want to go do the Sheila section first, and then we'll go to that treasure. So in we go. Oh, hi, Spyro. Some of my seal friends are trying to take down a Rhinoc fortress. I'm about to go and lend a foot. I love the smell of singed Rhinoc in the morning. Me too, Sheila. Me too. For some reason, I thought Sheila was only going to be a part of that one stage of hers, but looks like we get to play her quite a bit more often, which is which is great, dude. I love these side characters. Let's go through here and not get blasted by the cannon, hopefully. Can we get this guy? Oh, yeah, we can. Is this all there is? This seems like a pretty small area. Oh, here we Sheila. go. The Rhinox have built a fortress on our beach, and we're going to blow it to smithereens. We just need you to take out all the turrets for us. We're lighting the bomb now, so just make sure to stomp all those turrets before the fuse runs out, okay? Okay, well that's very violent, but we'll do what we can. So we have 90 seconds to go stomp all these turrets, so I can actually kick these? Uh, is that what I'm doing? I don't exactly know what I'm doing. Maybe I do this? There we go. Okay, good to know. Just took some damage right there, which is not a good. Took some more damage there, which is also not a good. But on the bright side, we are getting some treasure here. So smash this guy if we can. 
Can I just kill the guy and the thing at the same time? Looks like I can. Let's get this just in case I don't die. Get up here, smash it on down. Man, there's a lot of turrets for how much time we have to deal with here. Oh, get up there, smash it back down. Oh, he got me. These guys are really defeating me. There we go. Got that guy at least, but yeah, we're not doing great on time here. And I know I'm going to be missing some treasure, guys, but I'm totally okay with that because I would much rather get the mission done and get the treasure later than uh, have to restart this mission here. Let's see if I can kick this guy. Man, I'm not doing so good. I got him. Okay. Come on. I think we might be able to get him here. Got that one. Got that one. I can just get these last few. Getting low on time, but we might be able to do it. Come on, just don't get killed. Yes. Smash that one. Yes, we got them all, dude. Only 10 seconds left to spare. I was more worried about dying, though, than I was about my time running out. Wow. I can't believe I survived that blast. It's a good thing I kept this egg nice and safe in my pocket. Yeah, great stuff, Snappy. So we got Molly right here, so we should have two more eggs to go. But there is some treasure still here for us to grab that we didn't get while we were doing that mission. Also, I just realized Sheila's waist is really tiny. I mean, are kangaroos known for having ridiculously small waists? That's crazy, dude. Well, let's go around here and grab this five, at least. Maybe we did get most of them. I thought I missed more than that, but... Oh, there's another five over here. Okay. And we do have sparks with us, of course, so we can still point the things. And he's pointing back towards the exit. Awesome. So let's get back out of here. Oh, got one right there. Can't miss that one. I don't think Sheila can swim, so I think we're safe to leave. Okay, let's take this path now. Get back to full HP. Feels like it's been a while since we had Sparks as yellow right here. Let's go up these steps. Uh, I think we've already talked to this Zoe, yeah? Yeah, just hover to get more distance. So we haven't talked to her there, but I don't think she's saying anything too important because we've already been over here, haven't we? Yeah, I believe so. There's some stuff up above us here. Just gotta figure out how to get up there. Did Zoe give me that hover tip to turn back around and hover over to this side? That doesn't look doable, but I don't know how else to get up there. Oh yeah, we can just do that. Okay, so we're up. Uh, hey, buddy. I crashed that submarine if Sal hadn't tried a handbrake U-turn during an inverted barrel roll. I don't even know what you just said, Stu. Hmm, well, I guess we'll grab this treasure at least. Wait, let me talk to Stu again. I feel like I brain farted and just missed something. I can't talk to him, but I can go in this water right here and get some goodies. Yeah, I gotta try and build the habit of whenever I see water, just go for it. Because sometimes you'll just find a dragon egg hanging out. We got Jason. And of course the treasure as well, which we're getting fairly close to getting all the treasure done for the game. Right over here we've got, yeah, just 24 more to go. And hop to the secret cave is the final egg. And it kind of felt like the thing where Stu was, was the secret cave. But maybe there's a different secret cave. Is there any more underwater here? Uh, it looks like Sparks is pointing back up top, so maybe not. Oh, wait, 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 the enemy. Okay, there we go. You'll never guess where Sparks is pointing. Back inside the Sheila stage. Whoopsie. And he's pointing that away? Is there something up top? Uh, it does not look like it. Oh, 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 okay. I think it might be this. Maybe that's what Hop to Secret Cave was. Yeah, and we have another one of these busty chests. So we got Jared, and then we've got hopefully the final 15 gems in the game. <laughs> no, not in the game, not in the game. I meant just uh, in the stage. Let's go smash it open. No, come on, smash it. Is that 15? It is, there we go, guys. We are all the way up to 1491 treasure, and this stage is 100% completed. Heck yeah, dude. Uh, but in real life, it's like 4.15. I'm going to see you guys tomorrow morning. We're going to continue this recording. Well, it is now 9 a.m. of the next day. And before we get back into the game, I have been asked before what this is. This is actually World End Syndrome, which is just a visual novel. I imported this from Japan so I could play the Japanese version because the Switch is region free. Pretty sick. It's kind of the same thing I did with NG as well as Shin Megami Tensei Nocturne right here. So that's kind of just the way I learn Japanese. I just play through games or watch anime or read manga. And I kind of treat each sentence like a little puzzle and I kind of look up the words as I go and slowly work my way through and it's actually pretty fun. Hey, Sheila. So where were we? So we just finished off Seashell Shore. So let's go ahead and get back out of here and continue on with World 1. I think we might be ready to go and fight the boss now. So let's go ahead and exit level here. Let's head on over to the balloon. The balloon. All right, Snappy. So I guess we're going over here and we'll see what that one does. I guess what we had to do is play all those stages and they would pull down the balloon right there. So let's go talk to Snappy. Balloon's all ready, sir. Just jump on. 
I don't know if this is going to take me to the boss fight or if it's just going to go to the next world. If there is a boss fight, let's see. I don't see any skill point to get a perfect boss fight here. So maybe we're fine. Let's just go ahead and hop in and see what happens here. Yeah, we could go to Midday Gardens, but I want to stay here. I don't think this is actually the boss. So let me look around, guys. I think Midday Gardens is world number two. So I'll meet you guys if I can find a new stage. Right over here, we've got the Sparks thing. So the Sparks thing, I was told that you have to beat the boss and then you can come back and play that. Ooh, I think I see the Speedway stage. So if we go over this way, it looks like we do have... Well, first off, we have... Oh, never mind. I thought I saw a 1-Up jar for some reason. But we have Mushroom Speedway. Does this one have a skill point? This one also does not. So let's head inside and I guess get to our Speedway. Yeah, basically the flight stages of Year of the Dragon. We got them in this game too. We'll see if they are evil like Spyro 1 or a little bit less evil like Spyro 2's. You know, just looking at that big, beautiful, bright orange gem, it makes me wonder, can you actually get an orange gemstone? I don't feel like I've ever seen an orange gemstone before. Oh, Sparks. <laughs> Dude, Sparks is talking to us. So there's two flying challenges available here at Mushroom Speedway. We can either try Time Attack or Race the Butterflies. Which challenge would you like to play? I guess we'll go start with Time Attack. Here's a hint. Try completing each challenge in order. Start with the rings, then get the dandelions, the spider, and finally the butterflies. Well, there you go. So you are supposed to play them in a certain order. All right, Sparks. Let's get to it, guys. So yeah, it looks like the timer is counting down. Rather than us having to fly through and have the counter go up, we're going to have it go down. So I think he said dandelion second, right? Let's go for the dandelions next. Man, I've always loved the aesthetic of just like giant mushrooms. I was watching a video recently, actually just yesterday. I can't remember who made it, but they were talking about um, how there was like giant fungus like 400 million years ago or some crud. Uh, like before trees even existed, there was like not giant, giant. We're not talking like 100 feet tall, but there was like, you know mushrooms or whatever or fungi that was like as tall as a person or maybe twice as tall as a person stuff like that so that's pretty cool let's go through and blast all this crud now let's try to get these stinking butterflies so far it's going pretty good we've got 20 seconds left so as long as i don't start missing these like crazy oh uh, just like that yeah i'm gonna try to get this but we are getting low on time already okay one more one more Wow, first try on the time attack, and the fact that we have no skill point to, to get here makes me kind of happy. All right, so we're done, but can we go back in and just try the other the other game? Oh, here we go. Let's talk to Sparks. Yeah, so we get an egg for that one. We get Sabina, which is almost Sabrina. Man, so many of these little baby dragons have bows attached to their heads. All right, so we're done with time attack. Let's go race the butterflies. Okay, you're gonna race the butterflies, fly through all of the green checkpoint rings in order, and use the red dots to guide your way. Sounds good. Man, so far I am digging these speedway stages way, way more than I was digging them in the first two games. I think they've kind of... So they had the initial idea in Spyro 1, and then they kind of polished up the idea a little bit for Spyro 2, and I feel like they've really hit their stride. I feel like they're actually <laughs> kind of good now. Like, the first, the first game, they were okay, but they were kind of confusing. Second game, eh, it was a bit better, but I feel like this game, they finally got it figured out. The red dots, the gaiju is really nice as well. So, yeah, I think I actually am not going to be dreading the flight stages for this game the same way that I was for the other games. So, that's really cool. So, yeah, Spiral 3 so far has been a very pleasant surprise. I will say I do still kind of miss the... Um, I still miss the, the cute cutscenes from Spyro 2. But still, it's pretty cool. I'm really, really enjoying Year of the Dragon so far. Let's go through and see if we can get ahead of these guys. Only in fourth place, but as long as we get all of these boosts, I'm hoping that things will work out. Because aside from the boost, there's not really much we can do to speed up. Oh, but we can attack the butterflies. I didn't think to try that before. So yeah, let's try to flame them as we go. Kind of a dirty way to race, but if that's what we got to do, that's what we got to do. We're up to third place here. Oh, gosh. That one's flying right behind me. I don't know if they'll attack me the same way that we can attack them. And I missed one of the boosters there. We'll just have to keep on flaming them. Keep on flaming them. Yeah, I'm not sure if there's a trick to this, to going faster, or if we really just have to get all of those boosts. But only in third place, and we're getting to the final lap here. So we got to make up this lost ground really quickly. I'm not really sure what we're meant to do here, other than just, uh, I guess, not miss the boosters and maybe cut these corners a little bit tight. We are getting close to this one. So maybe, just maybe, we can at least get second. But I'm thinking to get that dragon egg, we're going to have to get first. 
Let's go up here and hopefully catch up to this guy. And where even is first place? They're like really far away, aren't they? Let's go through here. So we're up to second. That last guy, there they are, but it looks like they're already done, aren't they? So yeah, we only got second place, guys. I'll try again here. I'm having a ton of trouble catching up to this last one. I've been like right on his tail since uh, we got to lap two, but haven't quite been able to get up to him. Getting close though. We might be able to get this just at the end. Now I made like no mistakes there, guys, and we still only got second. Can I, is second enough? Can I get the dragon egg? Uh, looks like no. Wow, how do you beat that? <laughs> There's gotta be a way to go faster than I'm missing, right? I went and checked out a video of this just to see if I was missing anything, and I am not. It looks like you really just have to play like super perfect. So I, <laughs> I am back to dreading the speedways. Why do they insist on making you play like ridiculously perfect to actually win these? First place is right there. I'm just entering lap three. I can do this, dude. Come on. Come on. We're right here. Get him. Yeah, there we go, dude. Just don't pass me. Man, that is really tough. You have to play really well. I think you basically have to do that in under two minutes. And I got 159.5. All right, so there's first place. That should be another dragon egg. Wow, you want... Thank God. Yeah, I know. You don't sound so surprised, Sparks. We saved John. Shout outs to any Johns out there. We got this, dude. All right. Um, is that it? I guess that's it. Let me exit the level. I'm going to go look at the guidebook and see if it mentions any other eggs inside of here. Because I feel like there's got to be more, right? Hey, get that treasure. Yeah, Mushroom Speedway still has one more. Hunter's dog fight. So I'm going to go and try to get that one done. Hunter, you better not be fighting dogs. That's violent and probably illegal. I mean, I don't know the laws of Dragonland or wherever we are, but... It's, it just doesn't sound good, Hunter. I don't actually know how to find Hunter. Do I have to, like, start the mission and then just go look for him? Uh, yeah, that's gonna be a problem. Unless there's, like, something I have to leave and come back for or something like that. I'm gonna go look around for Hunter and see if I can find the guy. Hey, there we go. Hey, buddy. A bunch of sheep and flying saucers just came out of nowhere and started blasting up the race course. Oh, I hate when that happens, Hunter. I can definitely empathize with that. Yep, lots of experience with that Looks one. Looks like I'll have to hop in my plane and teach him some manners. Yeah, that's the answer. Violence is always the answer, Hunter. Shoot down the sheep UFOs. Let's Look go for out, it. Sheep. Here I come. Do we have to... Okay, press the A button to fire. Press the B or Y button for turbo. And we are playing as Hunter. Hello? I'm dead. How did that happen already? Okay. There we go, now we got guns. So I guess by turbo they mean go fast, not turbo fire, because you can just hold the, the gun button to shoot here. Looks like we're not on a time limit, so our main objective is just to not die. As long as we don't die, we should be fine. Let's get him, Hunter. Ooh, got him. No, dude, they're really hard to hit, actually. What, whoa, I don't know what got me there. There we go, two down, two down. Yeah, three down. Get, what, did I, what, did I touch the, side with my wing? I can't tell what's happening, dude. I'm just dying. I guess my wings are pretty big, so maybe I'm accidentally touching the wall. Oh, gosh, dude. This is really awkward. Huh? Wait, did they shoot stuff? Oh, there's, like, little orange projectiles. I didn't even notice that somehow. But, yeah, there's, uh, little, little projectiles they're firing at us. Okay. Okay, game. Uh, man, I'm, <laughs> I'm having a lot of trouble with this one. I feel like, honestly, they should have just given you more HP. Holy crud, man. One HP for all this? So let's just let's just get some distance because I am flying too close to stuff, I think. So let's get nice and far away. Now let's turn back around. Hopefully not get obliterated. Just don't touch the wing on that little mushroom there. Or the jumbo mushroom, whatever it is. Okay, just go. Get some more distance. I think I might have saw what's getting me. It might not even be crashing. I think I might just be getting touched by their their balls. They shoot those like uh, balls of light or whatever. Come on. Yeah, we got him. Looks like we can destroy some of the environment as well, which is kind of cool. I love destroying environment. We've got three more to get still. So where are these dudes? Kind of scared to drive back through here because I might just hit something. Aha, we got one over here. Oh, almost got killed there. I do not want to have to start over now, game. No, starting. Dang it, dude. I guess they can home in on you or, or something. I'm dead. <laughs> get him. Yeah, we got him, dude. There we go. Check it out. All right, so we get an egg for that one as well. We get some tater. All right, we'll have to boil them, mash them, and stick them in a stew. So we got that guy done, and we should be done with this stage. We are. All right, so let's get the heck out of here. Man, the, the time attack was pretty promising, but the other two missions were not my friends. So I still think Spyro 3, the flight stages, the speedways are still going to be the worst part of the game, but they're not 
that bad, I guess. Now, where is that boss? I don't know. Is the is the game just going to stick me into a boss fight when I try to travel? It might do that. Yeah, I think it's going to do that. Let's just move on because I can't find anything else to do here. So let's go to Midday Gardens. Let's go, Spyro. So I guess the gimmick for Ripto's Rage was kind of uh, seasons. We had the spring area, the autumn plains. We had the winter tundra. And I think for this one, it's time of day. So we start with the... The morning, whatever the heck. And then we've got midday gardens here. So we'll probably have like an evening and a nighttime one or something like that later on. But yeah, it looks like we are going to Buzz's dungeon. Listen carefully, you stupid girl. I'm only going to ask you one more time. Why haven't you disposed of that infernal dragon? I, I tried to scare him off, your highness. But he's just not afraid of anything. Not afraid? Not afraid? Why have I been training you all these years? Use some magic! Here's a spell book. Whip up a monster and eliminate him! Uh, kill him? I don't care what you do, you useless brat! As long as you get rid of him! Okay, let's see what we got here. Mm, this ought to do it. You can't keep me caged up in here forever. <laughs> you there, get me out of here. This is unacceptable. You, come here. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> what the devil? <laughs> Well, that does not look good. Let's get inside and let's see if we can go and fight this dude. Here we go, man. Our first major boss of the game, when Sheila. I heard the sorceress was planning to ambush you. I got here as fast as I could. No worries, though. This wussy green toad will be no match for the two of us. I love how the guy just stands back there and allows us this time to chat. Thank you so much, man. All right, let's actually start the boss fight then. He's got a health bar and everything. So what are we doing? Whoa, we're dodging. We are dodging. Can we go in for the flame? We can't flame him. Maybe we have to lure them over to where Sheila is and let her do a kick or something. Come on, Sheila. Help us out. Where are you, Sheila? Oh, he got me. Whoop. No damage for me, though. Okay, let's lure him over to Sheila. That's not the answer. So I don't know what we're doing then. Let's just try ramming him. Uh, maybe we ram him into the, into the lava. Okay, I think that's going to work. Oh, Sheila going for the head stomp. That totally worked. Uh, once he's going roly-poly mode, we can't charge into him. Now we can. Oh, he dodged. No, not today, buddy. Oh, that knocked me back real far. Come on, Sheila. Smack him on the head. Okay, watch out for... I, I forgot. Roly-poly. Let's go for the attack. He's probably going to try to jump away. Whoa, fire! Uh, I went for it anyways. That was a terrible idea. So we're getting pretty low on HP right now. Oh, but we got the bonus sheep. Whoa. Watch out for this guy. Watch out for this guy, Spyro. When will he stop? When will he stop? Right there. He stopped there. Okay. No. No. Wait for it. I'm not going to go in while the fire's up again. Okay, now we go. Oh, I missed it. I thought I had it there. And go. Go, go, go. There we go. I think one or two more swings should do it. Now probably two more, just looking at the health bar there. Oh, I got a bonus sheep as well. I wasn't even trying to get that. It just kind of happened. So we'll wait for this guy to be done. And let's go get him. Oh, what's he doing now? Jump into the side. So oh, okay, he does the fire and then more fire. That's fine. And yeah, looks like one more here. Do we have any more bonus sheep? I could definitely use a bonus sheep game. Holy crud, that got really close. There's bonus sheep. I saw bonus sheep. Oh. Yeah, let's get that crud. Get healed back up. And let's go smack some buzz. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I thought he would only do that at the edge, but he did it even when he was not at the edge. Okay, we'll just jump over those flames and get him here. And wait for it. Oh, jump over those flames. Grayson. Well, there we go, guys. We got a heck of a lot of dragons. More rainbow action in our lives. And up to 34 dragons. And Spiral automatically walked over to the balloon. So I guess we're going to fly off into the distance, into the midday gardens. Heck yeah, dude. 
But I think we have to go back to the first world to do the spark stage there as well. And I'm totally okay. I said the episodes would be kind of long. This one's kind of long. That's totally fine. But we might get another cutscene as we get into this world. So let's check that out if there is one. I can't warm hands while I'm in the hot air balloon. Sorry, guys. I can't warm your hands right now. And it looks like we're just dropping in. No cutscene or anything. So <laughs> we're going to just immediately leave. Let's go back over to Sunrise Springs here, because I want to uh, want to go and see if we can do that spark stage. So we'll just go directly back to the homeworld. This will not be the only time we go back here, considering we're going to have to go back to Molten Crater once we get Sergeant Bird unlocked as well. Is the prophecy true? Can we go do the spark stage? You are the chosen one, Sparks. Oh, I found an egg, but only Sparks will be able to reach it. There's a small hole that leads to a crawdad farm. I can take him there if he's ready. Oh man, a small hole. Let's go inside it. Uh, yeah, sure. Crawdad farm. That sounds great. Ooh, Sparks got his own little health bar. Oh, hey Zoe. Those nasty crawdads. I should give you some help. To start, let's practice shooting. Press the attack button to shoot these targets. Wow, look at how close we are to Sparks. I don't think we've ever gotten to see his model in so much detail. Uh, but yeah, let's go for some some shooting. Whoa, look at this, dude. Heck yeah, man. Got him. Cool. So now that we can shoot, uh, what's next? I guess we'll just start going through some doors. Hey, Zoe. Also move quickly by pressing the charge button, like Spyro. Use your charge to chase down this fast enemy. Ahaha. Uh -huh. All right. Man, we're so big. I mean, I guess Sparks is just, this is just normal size for Sparks, but I feel so big. Oh my gosh. We destroyed him. Now for the hard part. Being a maneuverable dragonfly, you can also strafe in any direction. To strafe, hold down the roll left or roll right button, then move with the left stick. Try strafing to hit the targets in this room. Sounds good. So we'll go like this, and now we can go like this. Wow, dude. Can we can we dash sideways? No, we can't dash sideways. Still strafing sounds pretty legit. There we go, man. So let's move on through. I think tutorial done. We can go and play the stage when now. You travel, you'll notice butterflies that give you health, just like in the dragon world. Not only that, but some butterflies will give you special powers, though only for a short time. Just eat any power-up butterfly, then press the jump button to use that power-up. Your power-up is shown in the top right of the screen. Sounds good. Dude, I'm really digging this. This is awesome. Well, let's go inside and get ourselves a power-up, maybe? Let's go obliterate all these dudes. I'm guessing you have to defeat them before you can open the doors. Um, what? What happened? Reignite! What killed me? Okay, so I think that the game was upset that I didn't use the power up there, so we have to we have to actually use the power up to progress. Man, I didn't, I didn't think it would kill me if I didn't do it correctly, but there you go. All right, let's get a new power up here. Uh, is that gonna be the same power up? Just more more ammo? Got him. Let's go on through. Yeah, I mean that's a pretty sick power up. Looks like you're ready, Sparks. If you need any more guidance. Just choose the controls option from the pause menu. So is this just a big tutorial and now we're going to start the actual stage? Aha, there we go. We get treasure in everything. This is awesome, dude. All right, let's go inside and let's obliterate that, dude. Yeah, we'll make lots of use of the strafe here. Is that a 25 gem? I guess Sparks is going to get all the good stuff, man. Get that power up. Or maybe that was just health there. Oh, that one might be a power up, though. That one's some green crud. Works for me. Yeah, look at that spray shot. Oh, we have like a crawdad spawner thing, so we have to destroy that one. Yeah, these stages seem really straightforward, but I'm actually kind of digging that. Uh, we've got another thing right here, a red key. We'll have to use that red key for something, probably. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's get all these guys taken down here if we can. Looking good so far. So what are we going to do here? Can we actually get inside that uh, shield? Looks like the answer might be no, unless this purple power-up will allow us to do that. So let's get this purple power up and see if we can use that to get inside. Looks like the answer is no. So we're going to have to go around the edges and maybe find a way to get inside there. Can't go through that way. These are homing missiles this way. Um, where are we going? If I can't get inside that thing. We got the red key. I guess that one will work. Let's go and use our missiles here. Not sure if I should be saving these missiles for stronger things, but that's fine. Might as well use them if we got them, right? Okay, more health. Oh, green key. Man, this is like Sparks, but it's Doom. You know, old school Doom where you had to go around and get different colored key cars and shoot stuff. It's feeling a lot like that. Let's go inside. And, oh, we got big guy. That one's these regular shots. Kind of straightforward there. Now we've got the yellow key. What is this power up? 
Whoa, okay, maybe with that we can go inside here. Uh, no? Okay, still no clue how we're getting inside there, but we do have a shield now, which is pretty sick. Can't go that way. Where was the yellow key used for? Oh, right there. Let's go in. Well, that's a lot of dudes. That is a lot of dudes, and we do not have any special power up. Oh, yeah, we do. Never mind. I thought my shield overwrote my power up weapon for some reason. Looks like this button is going to do the, the shield there. Awesome. I saw a red butterfly as well, so maybe I should grab that one, but I most importantly want that key. Nine, whatever the heck that shot is. Make sure we don't miss that gem there. And let's go back and see if hitting that button also dropped this shield. Looks like it did. Let's go ahead and give it a blast. Oh, like a Contra spread shot right there. And now we'll go through this way. Yes, we will. A perfect weapon for this one. It bounces off the walls too. Let's go around and not miss anything. Oh, dude, this weapon's amazing. Oh, I, I thought I could knock them out with one shot, but not quite. I should check. Okay, so we're almost done. We only have 200 treasure here. And I don't think we missed any. I've been pretty thorough. And the level seems fairly straightforward, so I think we're doing good. Oh, but we got a boss fight. Oh, crud. Okay, let's just do our best not to take any damage here. This is not working out. Okay, let's try again here. This is going a lot better now. Kind of getting the hang of things. Let's go and see if we can grab this butterfly. Oh, it is dodging me really hard. Whoa, buddy. There we go. Much better. Okay. So I think I want to keep my distance so I have more time to react here. Or we'll just destroy him. And we'll save Nora. All right. So there is our one dragon we're going to be saving here as Sparks. But how are we doing on treasure? Have I missed any? Let's go to the corners. There it is, guys. 200 out of 200. So this level is 100% completed, and we're safe to go back. That was a really fun stage. I hope there's more Spark stages in the game, because that was really cool. Nice work, Sparks. You've beaten the Crawdad King and found the lost egg. Not only that, but some of the dragon magic seems to have rubbed off on you. Now you can pick up gems when they're even further away from Spyro. Whoa! I didn't realize we were going to get any kind of benefit to Spyro, but that sounds amazing. Yeah, because there are times where I kind of walk by a gem and Sparks is just not quite in range. So that sounds pretty cool. But all right, guys, as you can see, we've gotten everything done we can possibly do in Sunrise Spring, except for Molten Crater, which is going to require us to get another character unlocked in the next world. So we're going to go ahead and wrap things up here for today. We'll go back next time and we will start the second world. I'll see you all then. Take care.